Brian Slasher and Suits. What's going on, dudes? Of course I'm going to be covering the Halloween Kills trailer. Teaser, whatever. To death, dude. I got so many new theories about this. See, what's going on with Michael? Is he, like, really into elderly abuse? Or, check this out. What if he's selling old bees from 1978? That makes so much sense right there. Like, what do you do when you first get out of jail? You break out of jail, you're like, I'm going to kill everybody who put me in here. Did me wrong. And that's what he's doing. Obviously, he would have went after Donald Pleasance first, you know, Dr. Loomis. But, you know, Father Time took care of that already. So for Michael, you just X'd him off the list. But, right, who's next? Do you remember her? Huh? Right? I'll give you a clue. That's the first time Michael ever stole a car. She was right there. So that was his first GTA. And now, after all these years, he's like, hey, I'm going to X you off too. Because, come on, man. That's a big coincidence that you run into that same nurse 40 years later. That doesn't happen. And, you know, she's ready with the heat. She has a gun already. And check this out. Alright, this old man right here, that's supposed to be grown-up version of Tommy Doyle, the kid that Jamie Lee Curtis when Lori was babysitting, right? So, you know, she has a gun, he has a bat, they know something's up, dude, like Michael's coming for him. Judging on that crowd of people on looking, it seems like everybody's gonna know about Michael Myers. Or maybe they're hip to the fact that he actually has a plan and is not so random like the first movie was. He's actually going and settling all these 78 beefs. Cause in 2018, he just seemed to be going, you know, walking around, going to house to house. But maybe there was a purpose in mind, right? Cause he was like killing like teenagers. I think he was crushing on Allison. But maybe he was just going to house to house. I was like, oh, I know who lives there. Because Dr. Sartain could have gave him like a road map. Like Google Maps. Here, Michael, here's everybody you have beef with back in 78. Here's what they're doing today. Now go get them. It makes perfect sense now. The Dr. Sartain character put this all together. He orchestrated it. Because what is the other beef Michael would have? Ah, with Hawkins, the arresting officer. And, you know, Dr. Sartain set him up. He was actually bringing him to Michael. It, just like how Sartain brought, was trying to bring him to Lori's house. Because in this alternate reality, or basically this retcon sequel, is supposed to be Michael got shot, fell out the window, then I guess got away for a little bit until Hawkins came and arrested him. So of course Michael has beef with him. Because I think there was way more collaboration between Dr. Sartain. And that was sort of premeditated, right? He had like that little pen knife thing. You know, you had to carry that on you all day and plan that out. But, you know, he was useful to Michael up until that point. So then Michael's just like, yo, dude, you took my kill, man. Hawkins was mine. Forget you. Head stop. This whole new movie could be just about beasts. Karen's got beef, man. He killed her husband, right? And then, right, this lady shows up right here. And that lady could be the little girl that was also being babysat in 1978. The time frame matches up, man, because they were about, what, 8, 10 years old back then? That's 40 years ago. There you go, man. And now they're being uh, hunted. Michael doesn't really kill kids, but now they're grown. I mean, he did kill a teenager in the last one, but, you know, the teenager had a gun, man. Teenager with a gun, that's like an adult. I mean, maybe this Michael just doesn't have any rules either. Like, hey, he'll kill teenagers, old people, whatever the hell. He bumped into kids, didn't kill them, and a baby, so he has limited rules. And right here, too, that little clip we got in the teaser, it looks like he's also killing an old person. So, expect a lot of old people to die. He's selling all sort of beef from way back in the day. Whoa, alright, imagine this. What if it's not even 78? What if he says beef going way back to when he was a kid who killed Judith, right? Oh, man, he could kill that arresting officer, however old he is. Or, you know what? Who is that old man, right? The old man, I don't know, man. Who who else could be that old that, you know, Michael has beef with? Maybe the guy who made out with Judith the for the first time, right? Like, he stole your girl, Michael. That's definitely some beef that Michael wants to settle.
Well, stay tuned for more Halloween Kills crazy theory videos, man. I can't get enough of it. But, man, we gotta wait a whole year for some answers. But I'll give you some more questions and answers if you like. Alright, so thanks a lot, dudes. Follow me down on everything below and catch you dudes later. Later, dudes.